Hello YouTube. Oh, I'm just going to show you something here at the moment. Don't mind the random amounts of crap on my bedroom floor. I've got this little nice thing down here. Going to... Not my foot, no. I'll zoom in on that. Yes, that's a HID light for a uh, for a car or whatever you want to run it on. HID that is. We've got the ballast there. Ah, focus, damn you! But the most important thing is fold the wires around, and you'll see that we've got it on this battery here. Now you may look at that battery and you may think that that battery is lovely little 12 volt battery pack, sweet as, sweet as hell. Well if that's so, and this is a 12 volt ballast on this, 12 volts, 35 watts, digital. Okay. This here is actually a 6 volt. 7 amp hour battery. There you go. And this little happy fellow here is a really cool thing. It's a DC DC converter. And what it does is it's a bit like a um, an inverter, only it's a DC type thing. And what it does is I'm guessing using PWMs. It's uh, it ups the voltage from an input of 6 volts and it'll up it up to uh, well what's that there? I'll fall off my chair uh, 6, to 12, 6 to 32 volts it'll go up to and the input voltage is 8 to 20 28 volts um, is that right? Oh yeah, the voltage in, sorry, is 6 to, t to 32 volts and the voltage out is 0.8 of a volt to, tw to 28 volts. So, at 6 volts, say you've got a 6 volt source, you could put 6 volts into this at high amps and get 28 volts out of it at 15 amps maximum draw. This is with this mounted on a heatsink. Yeah, well it is a heatsink itself, but mounted on a nice, you know, cool metal plate. Um, 32 volts. The best thing with this is now what this can do. <coughs> excuse me. Is it can uh, it will be ideal for things like solar panel charging because if you can get the high enough amps, you would set this to say something like voltage out. Say something out like um, I don't know, charging say six volt batteries up in parallel for instance you got loads and loads and loads and loads of 12 volt batteries uh, sorry 12 volt solar panels put them all together and got the amps quite good on them you was to then stick this on it and no matter if the sun went in or not it would try and keep the voltage at 5 volts basically it will you step know. up and down. Yeah, step up and down. But it will keep the voltage at a constant output. Uh, all it could do is it could just draw more amps from what it is. That it's uh, it's draw drawing the voltage and the current from. Uh, absolutely amazing little thing. Uh, it was a purchase from a well-known auctioning website. Very well-known auctioning website. Beginning with E. But I'm not saying too much. And... Um, yeah, you can, you can get them on there. Uh, this one was how much? Thirty-five pounds. Thirty-five, th thirty-five quid to buy. English pounds, obviously. The British sterling, pound sterling. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and that's with uh, three postage. That was three postage. All yeah, right, there you go. I didn't know that. And you've got a screw to adjust the voltage here. Yeah, you've got a, a voltage adjustment screw. That's it there. You've got an LED to tell you the status of how it is. A green LED is working normally. A red LED means it's uh, been under, uh, undercurrented or undervolted. 
Uh, it can't draw enough. It can't draw enough amps. So say you've got crap cables going into it or something. Or, or slightly flat battery. Or flat battery, which this battery is a bit flat. I will just show you this starting up. I'll try and stick it upright so you can see the LED. In fact, I'll try and stick everything close together and try and not to make things touch the bulb. They don't really call them bulbs. Uh, you know that's a ballon there. Basically, you can see. There's nothing else, there's no other wires going into that. There you go, don't mind that random piece of crap there. With water underneath it. That's from the fish tank. I did a water change on them today. Right, here we go guys, look, watch. Nothing on the wire. I'm going to fire this up. It goes red because the battery is a bit flat, unfortunately. Dust in front of the camera. It should start to go green as the bulb is, has reached its temperature. It's there you go. Temperature. It's gone green now, the bulb's got to the right temperature. And that is pretty bright HID. That's with the light off in my room. Camera going crazy. You can see that's pretty bright. Well, you can see it going around. You get lens flare off it. But cool. Let's do a zoom in. Uh, these are great for stepping up six volts um, for an old fashioned motorbike so you can stick good lights on. Uh... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to attempt to do it. We're going to stick this on the old 6 volt MT50 we've got. We're going to make a plate up. We're not going to we're not going to change the headlight in any way. We're going to leave the same connectors in there. We're just going to tee off the headlight connectors and just get it running. I mean, the the actual inverter kind of unit, the DC DC converter is powerful enough to run everything on the bike. If everything on the bike was turned on, which is all the indicators uh, the back light, the brake light was on, um, the horn was going, what else can we think of? Uh, the tail light. The tail light, the side lights. Um, yeah, everything on the bike, we're talking. That is enough to convert. If you could get that and... Uh, and Put it in line. Yeah, if you could get a bridge rectifier on your... If it's a dynamo output, you don't really need one because it's DC. But if you could get a... Um, uh, you know, a, a rectifier, and get a really good, you know, uh, direct current coming out of the bike, the six volts generator of the bike. You put that in line with it. Uh, that would regulate the voltage, step it up to 12 volts, and then you could run 12 volt bulbs on your bike. Just make sure you get your CDI if the bike's uh, near enough or old enough, uh, to, you know, can handle 12 volts. If it's the old fashioned coil type. Or you can just leave that at 6 volts. Or you could just leave that at 6 and just volts. Do and your yeah, lighting exactly. system, which is what we're doing. That's basically what we're doing, yeah. We're having two systems on the bike. We're leaving all the ignition and an engine system as 6 volts, but all the lighting systems being converted to 12 volts because of this one little box. And uh, as you can see, it's running that really sweet. It is literally just a little 6 volt battery. Let's see if we get the bulb to glow. Yes, glowing. But yeah, and if my brother would show you. Come here a second. Just pull the connectors out and just show him how easy it is to get the connectors out of it. Alright, so you can pull them out. You can just pull them straight out, look. So if you never need to replace that, you need to replace the box, the connectors just pull straight out. Sweet as hell. And on it, I'll give you a close-up of what it says on it. It's not even warm after doing all that. It's, yeah, the temperature. It's about it's, room temperature. Well, yeah, it's not even room temperature, is it? It's, it's, it's yeah, honestly, it's... Uh, I can't really demonstrate to you the temperature of it, because, obviously, you can't feel it. You're behind a computer screen, but the temperature of that is nothing. It's It's cold. Um, the unit is waterproof, 
Um, inside it, it's covered in like a silicon resin. So the whole the whole unit is waterproof, so it can go say under the petrol tank of a motorbike somewhere and just be left and forgot about. Uh, obviously, you want to protect your connectors up. Just stick some silicon grease all over those. That'll keep them all right. Can't beat the old silicon grease for uh, the old six volt systems. <laughs> I don't know, but um, yeah, and made in China. There you go. Hey. The efficiency of these units is uh, really good as well. Because obviously, with most conversions, yeah, you, you do, do lose, lose something. Bit, mm. But uh, I think I read that it's from 95 to 98 percent efficiency at converting. Yeah, which is excellent, and it's also good. If you've got a bike where you're revving it up, the voltage is changing either All the too time. much or too little. Yeah, this will like, keep it at a steady output. Like the old six volt systems do. If you don't have a uh, there is it the resistor, the load on the on the generator, you get your voltages going up to well spiking all right up to like about about thirty odd volts, don't you? Yeah. And the the old MT50, we found that it would do that if you unplug the battery. It would spike all the way up to 30 odd volts, and that was because it was using the battery as, the, as pretty much a rectifier, wasn't it? Yeah. As a place to dump excess power, which is why it used to bend the cells. And it turned all that into hydrogen. Yeah, that's it. Hydrogen maker under the seat. Lovely. But, uh, yeah, obviously having a load on it will stop that. And, uh, God, I used to melt bulbs on it. I used to. Not just the filaments used to melt on it, but the actual support for the filaments, they used to actually melt down and they used to arc through it, the whole bulb, you know, the leg, what the filament's standing on, inside the bulb, it used to melt it, right up to the bead of glass that held the two filaments together, sorry, the two legs together, that crazy, that, that, that was crazy voltage, but now the electronic system's working pretty sweet, <clears throat> but the headlight on it is pathetic, it's like a cigarette nub end, I don't smoke myself, but that's what it's like, it's absolutely dim as anything. But, uh, honestly, it's like it's like trying to drive with that little neon indicator down there, isn't it? It's it's yeah, really bad. It's I mean, he won't he won't know because he's not driving the bike yet. But from what but, I've seen already, it's yeah, quite shocking. Take it from me. You take a trip. You take a trip up the A6. Oh god, there's no light up the A6. So uh, yeah, it's really dark at the night time. But yeah, anyway, that's uh, just about. 12 minutes 40 so thanks for watching guys peace out I hope this helps out someone out, uh, out there who's looking for this kind of uh, this kind of technology to convert a bike instead of changing the dynamo over the stator over and stuff like that this could actually help you out even better alright guys thanks for watching peace out <laughs>